This training guide demonstrates how to operate Reflex's ACT-2 RD core orientation instrument. The ACT-2 RD is a fully electronic core orientation device for use in diamond exploration drilling. It has been specifically designed to orientate accurately and consistently in soft and broken ground. The ACT-2 RD orientates while drilling takes place, reducing the cost of use and minimizing delays to the drilling process. Uses infrared technology, which means the controller does not go down the hole, making it more robust and reliable. Uses time sampling technology, which eliminates the use of stopwatches and the risk of human error. Uses advanced digital technology, which provides consistent and accurate orientation data. Allows users to download data to a PC, giving it audit ability. Has an LED display for night or underground drilling. And has a custom made check valve system and patented rapid or fast descent instrument body. A standard diamond drilling barrel assembly may consist of the following. A locking coupling, a back-end reamer or adapter coupling, a standard or hex drilling barrel, the front-end reamer, and the diamond drilling bit. The barrel extension can be installed to the front or back of the drilling barrel. However, for QPQ or PQ applications, the supplied barrel extension must be fitted at the front of the drilling barrel, between the front-end reamer and drilling barrel. To install the barrel extension to the front of the drilling barrel, remove the front-end reamer and drill bit from the drilling barrel. Install the barrel extension to the front of the drilling barrel. Then refit the front-end reamer and drill bit to the barrel extension and tighten as per standard drilling practices. To install the barrel extension to the rear of the drilling barrel, remove the back-end reamer or adapter coupling from the barrel remove landing rig from the barrel and place it into the ACT-2 barrel extension. Attach barrel extension to the barrel. Attach back end reamer or adapter coupling to the barrel extension and tighten as per standard drilling practices. The drilling barrel is now ready for drilling. Attach the ACT-2 RD to the inner tube and then remove the top cap from the instrument. The LCD infrared controller is water resistant. However, it should not be submerged in liquid. The ACT-2RD is pressure rated to 6,000 PSI. In order to maintain this rating, the O-rings need to be inspected after each drilling run. Replace worn or damaged O-rings as required using the supplied spares. The O-rings should also be lubricated with the supplied lubricant. Like all orientation systems, the ACT-2RD must be initialized before use. If the instrument is not initialized, new orientation information will not be recorded and the memory will not be cleared from the previous run. Press and hold N for three seconds while the display is flashing. Starting will appear on the display panel. Continue to hold N while the display shows the tool serial number. Done will appear on the display after five seconds if the instrument has started successfully. The LEDs and beeper will also signal the end of the initialization procedure. Remove the infrared controller from the housing and then replace the cap. The ACT-2RD is now ready to have the RD back end attached. Attach the ACT-2RD to the back end as per standard drilling practices. Once it has been attached, the inner tube assembly can be run into the rod string by either using the dry release method or by dropping from the surface. At the end of the drilling run, and before breaking off bottom, you must ensure that the rods have stopped rotating before pressing B. 
Press and hold the B on the infrared controller for five seconds. This will record the orientation position of the core. The new hole depth can now be entered. If a depth is not entered within 60 seconds, the unit will turn off. Done will remain on the display for five seconds. It will then clear and turn off. Once the core has been broken, you can retrieve the inner tube and remove the back end assembly. It is important to support the back end to protect the threads and O-rings. The ACT2RD must remain connected to the inner tube until the orientation has been transferred. To read the orientation data, take the cap off the ACT2RD and insert the infrared controller into the socket at the top of the instrument. To initialize, press and hold R for five seconds while the display flashes reading. Two infrared controllers are supplied with the ACT2RD kit. If the other infrared controller is selected, a warning will appear. Continue to hold R while the serial number is displayed. The ACT2RD's battery status will then be displayed after five seconds and will either be BAT OK or BAT Low. Press R to start the realignment process. You will be guided by the LED's LCD display and beeper. Rotate the inner tube while holding the infrared controller in the direction of the LEDs or the arrows displayed on the screen until this symbol appears on the display, which indicates the correct orientation angle. If you rotate past the correct orientation angle, the arrows will indicate that you must rotate in the other direction to find bottom hole orientation. Bottom hole orientation is always the side of the inner tube closest to the ground. The display cycle can be repeated by pressing R again or press N or B during the cycle to exit and power off. Once the core has been orientated, it can be marked using the jig provided. To transfer bottom or hole orientation to the core, place the jig on top of the lifter case. Ensure that the marking jig is level by keeping the bubble between the black vertical lines. Mark the core by running the pencil along the end of the marking jig, closest to the bottom of the core. Bottom hole orientation has now been transferred to the core and the ACT2RD can now be removed from the inner tube and the inner tube emptied. If there is a chance that the core is damaged or broken, mark the lifter case as you would the core, then remove the lifter case from the inner tube. Then, using a straight edge, transfer the orientation to the inside section of the core. The orientation is now protected. Screw the lifter case back onto the inner tube and empty as per your normal method. The Reflex Act 2 RD can be removed from the inner tube and the inner tube emptied. The Act 2 RD is available in a range of sizes. For additional training, support or advice, please contact a Reflex technician. Reflex Instruments. Reflex is a leading supplier of downhole digital survey and core orientation instruments for the mining and resources industries. The company has service and support facilities in Asia, Africa, Europe and the Americas. Reflex Instruments.